Good morning, Sparrows Point Middle School. Today is Tuesday, May 17, 2016, and it is an 8-8. My name is Natalia. And my name is Destiny. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Mm -hmm. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. We would like to wish a happy birthday to Caitlin W. And the weather today is 58 and rainy. Last day for 8th grade dance tickets is Wednesday. Recycle Art Club will meet on Wednesday and Art Club will meet on Thursday. Students who need to finish art projects may also stay after Wednesday and Thursday. The library is closed before school and during lunches all this week due to testing. Attention 8th graders, volleyball meeting for the 2016 season, Wednesday, May 25th, 2.45 p.m. in Mr. Mitchell's room. And now we have an announcement from Mr. Rizzi. Good morning, Sparrows Point Middle School. As you noticed yesterday, most of you, we have Penny Wars all this week. I just want to update you on the score. In third place, and only because the 8th grade wasn't here yesterday, is the 8th grade with negative 15 points. 7th grade has negative 10 points, and the little kids at the end of the hall are currently winning with 107 points. So please find your extra change at home or after lunch, place it in the proper boxes and, or uh, jugs, and I'll continue to update us over the course of the week. So once again, 8th grade, we lost the last time we did this. It was rather embarrassing. I'm still being harassed by 6th graders as they walk down the hallway, even though we beat them in math clash. So I would appreciate if you found your extra loose change underneath your cushions, on the floors of your parents' cars, bring them in and drop them into the proper job. Thank you. And now we have an announcement from Ms. Perry. Good morning, everybody. Um, I have two announcements to make. One is particularly designated for sixth grade and the rest is for, the one is for the rest of the building. Um, let's start with everybody. Students, this is just a reminder that cell phones should not be out in the hallway at any point in time. They should be turned off and in your pocket. You should only be accessing them if asked by a teacher, you're using them in class, or if for some reason you need to come to the office and you can't use the main phone. You sh your cell phone should be put away at all times during the day. I understand that that is annoying for you, but that is our rule. If you need to make a phone call, you are more than welcome to use the main office. If you have questions or concerns about this policy, you are more than welcome to come and chat with me in my office. Sixth grade, this announcement is for you. Your devices must be carried in your bags at all times. This is not something you. Sixth grade teachers, if you find that your student is not carrying their device in a bag, my understanding is that the team is going to be assigning a consequence. So students, if you don't want to pay $1,500 to replace a device and you don't want to stay after school for detention, put your device in the bag. No questions. It should not be a problem. Thank you. And the quote of the day. The difference between winning and losing is the most often is most often not quitting. Walt Disney. Thanks for watching. I'm Natalia. And I'm Destiny. Remember to have pride in all that you do.